Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you guys are like, finally sis, where have you been? I've been in bed, you know, do my thing, in the bed. I'm gonna be honest, I've been so lazy to post that ass. Like, I've literally been laying in my bed and I'm like, I need YouTube ideas. I need YouTube ideas, queen. I'm not creative, I, I ain't like that, okay? So I had to steal some ideas from other people, but this one's pretty like generic. So today we're doing, fall makeup because it's officially fall my nails are not fall yet i literally just got these done a couple weeks ago so i was really sad like i was like girl ain't summer no more bestie okay so um hopefully soon these will fall off and i'll get some fall colors actually i'm probably gonna get halloween nails because it's almost halloween in honor of fall i'm gonna be doing some fall makeup today i'm wearing like an outfit that will like totally go with fall colors and also I'm going to a show today. So that's what I'm getting ready for. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sophie. I do makeup and a bunch of little beauty skincare stuff. Um, sometimes I post vlogs. Future vlogs will be coming soon, don't worry. I'm gonna be doing some fall makeup. I bought some new products that I'm gonna show you guys and this is gonna be like my first time trying them and seeing if they work with me. And also I got some deals at Walmart today. So this is gonna be really exciting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe that would be amazing and you would see more of me and my weird little adventures or like shit i get at the store so that's gonna be super fun so if you would like to be a part of this journey and hurt me that'd be amazing just hit the subscribe button click the bell if you really care about my videos and you want to see every time i post i'm going to be posting every friday i'm going to try with school and work, it's a little hard to like balance all that. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a little, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna try and make it work. If I don't post on Friday, it will be near Friday, either Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. I know it says every Friday on my little logo thingy, but I can't promise y'all, okay? Anyways, let's get on with this video. So I'm gonna show you guys some new products I got. This foundation is not my color and I bought it because it was literally $4.99 and I was like, girl for foundation? Okay. I got this and I tried it on, fucking light as fuck. So white, I was like. So I think I'm gonna give this to my bestie Destiny. Also, I got that at Dollar Tree and it's called Believe Beauty. It's literally there like in the makeup section, you'll see it. And they don't have a lot of shades, sadly. That's why I was so confused. I was like, this has to be my shade. Like, cause I'm pretty light, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of tan right now, so. Um, Anyways, so today I went to Walmart with my grandma and my sister and I got the Infallible, which is the newer version of the Infallible that was in like the, what is it, like the plastic thing? I don't know what it's called. Got my shade match on um, Ulta. I basically like picked my undertones and stuff. So if you ever like in Walmart and you're like, fuck, what's my shade? Also, obviously I don't know if this is actually my shade yet, but honestly it kind of looks like it could be, but we don't know yet. But my secret is, you know, since Ulta has um, drugstore foundations on there, you're actually allowed to do like this thing on the app called um, Shade Match or something like Find Your Shade. You click on that and you click like your undertones. It makes you ask like about your veins. My veins are like a bluish green. I put green because they look green to me. And I have yellow undertones. Like you could literally see it in my face. I thought I was neutral, but what's wrong with me anyways this is what i got and i'm hoping it works because my other foundation is the born this way one and it's white on me right now and i'm like so this might be my summer shade so these were on sale and i fucking cried this one looks like a fucking butt plug literally like i was like this is the so it was on sale and it had no packaging and I was like, what the fuck? Like, what is this? Like, I literally thought it was a butt plug. And I found out like, it's a fucking lipstick. And I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cute. And if you guys know that girl, her last name is Bedoya or Bedoya. I don't know how to say it. Pretty sure I'm saying it right. But this is her makeup brand and it was at Ulta or <laughs> not Ulta. It was at Walmart in the fucking sale section. And it's like the perfect nude. Like, look. That's literally the perfect nude shade. And I was like, per, why is this on sale? Question mark. I can buy that shit real quick. And also I got this on sale. It was a dollar. Um, 
I wanted a lip liner because I have been starting to line my lips recently and wearing lipstick, which I never did before. And you guys that have been here for a while, you guys already know, like, I never do that. I, I've never lined my lips every time I do my makeup, but I've been seeing a lot of girls like that I follow, they're lining their lips. And I was like, you know, my lips are like a medium, you know, they're like medium sized. I was like, oh, like, maybe I can overline a little bit so they look a little more plump. So um, I actually started overlining and I actually really like it. So I got like this mocha color. Um, it's like a pinkish brownish, but it's gonna look better than like getting like a dark ass brown because I'm lighter complex. I have a lighter complexion. Also, I bought this little, um, what are these called? A little... What are these called? I don't even know what this is called. I bought this because honestly, I was touching it in the store and I was like, like that feels so good. I don't know. Like I always do that with my brushes. When I get new brushes, I go like literally because it feels so good, like per. So we're gonna get onto the makeup. Okay, so first I'm gonna hydrate. I don't know how this foundation is gonna work. I It's a matte and I like matte, but like recently I've been getting into more of like the natural finish. Um, but they didn't have any like good natural finish foundations at the store. So I'm just gonna be using this hydrating serum. Um, I don't know if it's gonna focus um, Hey bestie Okay there, so this is what it's called. Um, I just have this So we're just gonna put this and just put it all over our face Honestly, like I don't even need to be hydrated, but I'm just doing this just in case the foundation gets like a little weird and I don't want to look weird. Okay, so I'm going to be using this. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to use this to um, conceal like my eyes and stuff. I usually use um, concealer as a base because I feel like it works better than fucking like eye primers for some reason. It gives that bright, you know. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so I put concealer on like all my problem areas because I feel like it just makes it look better when the foundation is on top, laying on top. So right now I'm carving out my brows. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, you don't even have product on there. I just do this because I, I don't know. Usually put it on after and then like, um, if it still looks freaking messy as fuck, like I'll just, I'll just go in and fix it. I'm just doing the other eyebrows so we're gonna try to make them look like twins i haven't plucked my eyebrows in literally like a couple weeks so um they look really nasty right now so that's why i'm trying to conceal them the best i can so you can't really see that hair because honestly that's embarrassing i'm getting this beauty blender and i'm just blending all of this in so it doesn't look weird why is my mom being a karen right now she literally just said, can I speak to your manager? No, I do not claim my mom. Don't know her. We're gonna go in with my dirty ass Jaclyn Hill palette. This is her uh, volume two palette. I found out after that this is not cruelty free. So I'm sorry besties, if you guys want, like literally look at this color story. It's so pretty, but it's not, it's not cruelty free and it sucks because that was my favorite palette and then I was like, I'm getting a color like this. It's more of like a pinkish orange. I don't know what you would call that, but we're just gonna do this. Just sweep it across your eye, just like that. So I'm gonna do this again and um, then tapping off the excess and just doing the same thing that I did on the other eye. Let's see what I'm doing. We're going into this type of brown. I don't know what type of brown this is. Um, I'm too lazy to grab the palette and show you guys this in the crease I'm gonna try to like show you as much as possible blend that with that little salmon sort of color deep in your crease I'm gonna get more tap the excess and do the same thing to this eye and okay so now we're using a black which if you use black before I'm gonna do this very lightly see like I already ruined it <laughs> You have to like be very careful with black because literally the black will fucking ruin anything. As you can see, it ruined it a little bit. So I'm gonna go into a different palette and try to fix this shit. Well, I fixed the eye look. I literally just put like a, 
another brown that I found. I fixed it. It looks a little wonky right now. I am going to put a gold on my lid using the 35B palette V B. Can you see? I don't know if you can. I'm blind. Um, so I am going to put this just on my lid like that. I'm not doing any cut creases because that requires too much work. As you can see, it's on the lid. It's pretty. You know how it be. I fixed it. I kind of made it into a cut crease, but I didn't like get the concealer and all that. It's only very pigmented where I could just cut the crease myself with the glitter. So I got the eyes done. This is pretty much the look. Um, once we get like the foundation on and all that, we'll do like the under part. My brows, I literally get a black eyeshadow and I just fill it in. This because it's easier. Look it, perfect brow. Got both brows done. They look good, period. You know how we do. Start with the foundation. Per. So, I'll just put it right here. Actually, I'm putting my concealer on right now and honestly, it matches pretty good. It's not like an exact match, but it's it's good enough. Do you see the skin difference? Like, but um, since I contour and all that, I don't think it's gonna look that bad once I start contouring. So I kind of finished this, obviously it looks bad. Um, I'm gonna set it with powder so it doesn't look so, uh. so I baked and it's gonna look a little better after I bake. Um, so now I'm gonna put on my eyelashes and I actually bought new eyelashes. Oh, they're like right here. I bought like seven of these, but like in different ones. So this one is in the style Countess. I love these Kiss eyelashes, like they're so pretty. And they were only four dollars like these are what the lashes look like i'm gonna show you like right on my cheek right here they're super cute and they're pretty um they're not really dramatic and i'm gonna look right here uh wait let me go like this so you guys can literally see what i'm doing i'm literally placing it right on top and I get my little tweezers just to fix them a little. Okay. Up her. Her. These are what the lashes look like. They're so pretty. I love them. I have so many dramatic lashes that I'm just like, I need to start getting some natural ones so like I can go out. Cause you know how I wear glasses. They're not glasses. Like they're not meant for people with glasses. And these ones, they're short enough, which I think that they will be glasses safe. Okay, so now we're gonna wipe away the bake and it does fix everything. See, it just like chisels everything out. So now that we finished taking off the bake, um. I'm gonna go back in with this shade. Well, I put white in my waterline and um, I put mascara on and I look cute. Now I'm gonna put some blush on. The blush that I use, this is from Koki Cosmetics. Co Koki. It's either Koki or Koki, I don't know. Ask me why it has fucking ponies on it. I don't know. Um, so you guys, if you guys are new here, obviously, you don't know what I do with my blush, but I like this and I kind of put it, kind of give like a little sunburnt look. I like putting my blush on like that. I put some highlight on. I don't really put that much. Oh, shit. So I just put it on the tip, on the bridge of my nose, just like that. And then I only put a little bit on the side. Now we're going to lip line my lips, it's like a brownish type. So let's see. I do it. It's a little thing. And just go like that. And just go be okay. This, because I did. So, I'm sure. So, then I'm gonna get this color, which is the Bedoya Beauty.
So this is the rest of the video. Honestly, I love this lip combo. I'm living for it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this, please subscribe. Por favor. That'd be swag. <laughs> Fall makeup. So pretty. Um, swag. Oh my god, this eyelash is coming off. Okay, let's pretend that's not happening. I'm gonna fix it after this video. But thank you guys for watching and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Missing someone. Missing someone.